Welcome to part one of the Spartan iPad application tutorial. Here is what we will cover in part one. The first thing to do is power up the system. For this tutorial, I am going to remove the iPad from the Spar Vision. Okay. Let's fire up the iPad. One thing to remember is the Spar Vision takes about 45 seconds to boot up. You can see when the Spar Vision and iPad are talking by watching the top left corner. Once the Wi Fi symbol appears, you are good to go. Go ahead and press the Spartan Tool app to start it up. Here is the home screen. The icons on the left are your control buttons. We have LED light control, record movie, playback, snapshot, and system options. The top buttons are embedded information boxes. These will appear in the video recording or snapshot images. There is date, time, title block, and distance counter. Each box can be moved or hidden. Also, the distance counter box has a reset selection to reset the counter back to zero at any time. Now let's start reviewing the control buttons. The LED control button allows you to adjust the camera head LED light intensity. You can drag the slider or tap to adjust. Next, let's jump down to the snapshot button. At any time you can press the snapshot button to save an image file of the current screen view. You will be given a choice to edit the picture. For now, let's skip the editing. Now let's see how the editing works. Here is the edit screen. Simply draw on the screen. Press clear all to erase all drawings. You can also change the colors at the bottom. Press the keyboard button to add text. Press done when finished typing. Notice that the text is flashing. This means it's floating. While the text is floating, you can adjust the size and color. When you are ready to lock the text to the screen, simply press your finger wherever you want the text to lock. Press Exit Edit to exit and save the image file. Please check out Part 2 for more information on the Spartan iPad application.